Peace. It's Equality of Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A person, place, and thing within my circumference. You are now within my cipher. Now let's talk. So, why are we here today? Yesterday, I received a package from the Postal Service from a blind buy that I made. Um, this blind buy comes from an Atlanta-based company, African-American um, company, called Savoir Fair. Savoir Fair um, in French, according to uh, the owner and perfumer, Chris Classic means to know how to know how to do. This is a 50, this is a 50 ml bottle. Your typical almost decanter bottle. Um, nice details on it. This is called Soul, Soul Cafe. This particular fragrance. He has two other fragrances. I haven't smelt those. This is a blind buy and this is his new one, Soul Cafe. Soul Cafe is a unisex scent. That's supposed to embody the secure man and the empowered woman. He started this company in 2017, I'm going to say. 2017 with the purposes of just starting off creating his own scent. He just wanted to smell like himself. Um, of course, the company grew. And with that growth, he packages, mixes, everything by hand, bottles, and ships them out. Um, it even came with a signed card. I will read this one. You are wearing this statement, even casually, that you understand the value, your unique qualities and characteristics that allow you to coexist yet stand out, to shine without dimming the light of others. This is a celebration that a special extra thing that enables you to be in any room at any time without feeling out of place. That is your savoir faire. Feel free to share using um, the hashtag. I cannot thank you enough. Chris Classic. Uh, hand blended and bottled by. He did this 10-20-2019. Uh, That's a nice touch. A nice personal touch that comes in the package. So, it's, it's a very independent. I was skeptical about even doing this. Because, like most fragrances, they need to macerate and what it smells like today 45 days from now is going to smell different but i had asked a question on my page and um he came on to my page after being tagged on my ig and said you know he would love to hear what i had to say so today i'm going to do a first impression i haven't smelt this I have no idea what it's going to smell like so let's get to it the notes because it doesn't have a regular fragrance pyramid that I found. He just has a list of notes. So we have tobacco, bergamot, blood orange, black pepper, patchouli, um, musk blend, amberwood, oud, lavender, Arabic coffee, and firewood. Let's see what, what this does. Hmm. Okay, right. this guy go on skin. This has to go on skin. I can smell it from out here. Okay, this comes off strong and boozy to me. Um, I don't know if it's the mixture of the bergamot and the blood orange. I feel like he has cognac or whiskey in it. That's never here nor there. It's not a listed note, but it comes off boozy. Just right here, I get tobacco, bergamot, blood orange, and pepper. That's all I get. I don't get oud. I don't get the firewood. I don't get the lavender. Um, and I'm not getting musk. This is what I get. Okay, so what does it smell like? It smells like nothing 
that I have personally smelt so far. Is it revolutionary? No, it's not revolutionary. And the reason why it's not revolutionary because it fits in the same house of every other sweet tobacco, fruity, honey scent. So your Pure Havans, your Naxxas, your um, Back to Blacks, that uh, sweet tobacco, I forgot, it's 1112, 9711, sweet tobacco. Um, I have it upstairs. I can't think of the name of it. Those scents are all going to fit into the same category. So when will I wear this? To me, this screams nightlife. For me as a father and a grown man, that means Friday and Saturday nights. I can't on party on weekdays. But this would be, this screams Friday or Saturday night, you're going to a bar. This screams perfect for the bar where you're competing with multiple scents. You're competing with food, other people's fragrances, alcohol. You need something that's going to cut through all those smells, but it's not going to be overbearing. That will smell good and not repulsive. So Cafe is going to be when you're going to wear this. You're not going to need a lot of sprays. I don't know what this is going to do in the dry down or how long it's going to last on skin. I'm going to revisit this in 40 days because I want to see if I have the same impression. But you're not going to need a lot. Four sprays in a bar at the most, maybe three. Is all you're going to need with this. This whole area right here in front of me. Is, I can smell it. It's filled with aroma. So it comes off strong and boozy in the top. What will I rate this? Out of a 10, I give this a solid 7.58. That can go up or down depending on what happens in the next 40 some days. Will this get you compliments? Yeah, I believe so, especially in that environment. If you go to bed trying to wear this and use it as a cuddle scent, it might not get you compliments, especially if you have that many sprays, because in a close quarter situation, I would not wear this. This would be strictly for open bar cigar lounges, cigar lounge with a smoking cigar and some cognac, some whiskey. This is going to blend perfectly in that environment. This is the environment I would wear it to. I wouldn't wear it to the movies. Um, it's way too strong to have people. You don't wear something like this on an airplane. <laughs> you don't. Or at least you're going to have to watch your sprays. Because you can go by my philosophy where what you like, when you like, forget all the hype. For me personally, this is night out. Friday, Saturday nights. It screams. It's sexy. It's sexy. It's not revolutionary, but it's sexy. I have a lot of sexy fragrances. So, yeah, I give it a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10. Um, Was it worth the blind buy? Yes. It's a good blind buy purchase. Um, I ordered it early. Got it for $65. Can't beat it. I think right now he has a special. I mean, right now, I don't think he's running special. I want to say it's $95 for 50 ml on his website. Um, it's 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 a good scent. It's a good scent. Will I give this some wares? I sure will. I'm definitely gonna give it some wares. Um, what will it do on your skin? I can't tell you. I can just tell you what it does on my skin right now. It hasn't changed much. I'm getting what I would call the top notes on my skin, which was the blood orange, the bergamot, tobacco, and pepper. I get that off the break. And it's been a couple of minutes, and I still get that. So I'll see how this develops going into the future and come back and do a full review on it. But with that being said, um, the link to purchase or get samples, don't blind buy. Don't be like me and blind buy. I'm a blind buying fool. But I'm also batting 
a 99% because I have the, I'm lucky enough so far that I have the ability to look at the notes and how it's kind of broken down to see if it would even fit my personality. So the website will be in the description on where to purchase if you want to look at getting some samples. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping a new video, especially when I do the full review on this. And with that being said, peace.